hey guys and welcome back to another video continuing with our react and django series in today's video we'll be looking into the api routing part for the products app so similarly what we have done in the previous video for the categories uh, app and the api routing part the same exact thing we are going to perform it with the products app so uh, making this uh, video very short and precise uh, let's directly dive into it so uh, this is a folder structure which we are currently having and uh, if you have missed out anything i'll be uh, sharing the link for the code in the description below so you can just directly download it and unzip the file and directly get started with the uh, entire app so uh, this is the folder structure which we currently have and this is our manage.py uh, file which is the main file so let's navigate to the api uh, app and uh, check the category ones uh, because in the previous video we have performed the api routing part for the categories app uh, exact same procedure we are going to perform for the products app as well so what we have done is uh, we have created uh, just summarizing the categories part uh, we have created a model and uh, uh, we have registered a serializer and along with that we have done some uh, routing part in the url and views uh, file as well and registering that product in the admin and uh, the settings uh, part over here and this my backend and settings part over here so this is why we are registering our api or the app uh, in the settings file uh, similarly we uh, we have done for the product uh, products part as well so let's uh, dive into the products part so this is a products app which we have currently let me just minimize this all okay so this is a products app which we have within our main app api and let's navigate to that so uh, uh, first of all let's uh, create a, a model for our products api so model is basically a schema which we generally uh, provide uh, to feed in data or just a database schema so this is the schema or the model for the products app you can uh, uh, copy this or uh, you can just type in or download the code from the uh, link in the description below so it will be handy for you guys so this is the part where, where we are creating the model and importing importing the uh, Django DB from the model itself so uh, once this is done uh, let's navigate to the serializers pass part so if you have not created a file known as serializers.py make sure you create one like this and uh, provide in all this information uh, in the same exact format so we are uh, providing the field uh, name description price and stock and uh, this basically indicates that we are uh, uh, providing all the fields uh, in the REST API response which we are going to uh, see in the later half of the video. So make sure you are synced up with, with, uh, with the serializers uh, file as well. So after, um, after completing the serializers part, let's navigate to the views.py uh, file. So over here we are just creating a uh, class with product view set and uh, we are um, just uh, organizing that with the uh, help of name and this is our serializer class and that's it for the views.py so we are done with the models we are done with the serializers and we are done with the views for the products app now let's uh, configure our uh, api part sorry uh, the routing part so let's navigate to the urls.py file and make sure you provide a uh, route uh, to the uh, file as uh, provided in this uh, file itself and uh, I think that's pretty much it now after completing the urls.py file let's navigate to the admin.py where we are registering our uh, products app to the admin panel so this is how we register the product app uh, and uh, apps i don't think we are configuring this make sure all the files are pretty synced uh, with what you are doing so i don't have uh, 
I don't think we need to do any changes over here but make sure you are synced with this so once we are done with admin uh, registration uh, apps look fine apps dot pi models look fine and uh, yeah there is no test file so yeah we are pretty good so all this necessary things uh, need to be migrated uh, onto our database so first of all let's register our product app into our settings file so let's move on to the main settings file settings.py file and register our uh, uh, api.product as we have done similarly for category so once this is done uh, i think we are done with the registering part as well and uh, make sure you hit the command uh, python 3 and uh, make migrations which will basically uh, migrate or um, look onto any changes made made uh, within your app so this is something which I've shown very uh, clearly in the categories video so I'll just uh, provide the link in the description or you can just refer it uh, the previous video you'll get a better idea on that because the steps are pretty much similar I won't be uh, doing all the repeating repeating stuff so make sure you are pretty synced with the last video as well so after uh, performing the make migrations make sure you perform that or else you will get errors uh, i think we are pretty much done uh, uh, with this uh, so summarizing in a very short uh, manner first of all we have created uh, uh, models for our product this is that after that we have uh, created a serializes.py file and we have provided these fields uh, after doing that and uh, now we have navigated to the views.py file and this is what we have done over here and uh, after that uh, we are moving to the urls.py file and uh, registering our app to the admin.py within the products app and uh, uh, registering the products app within the settings dot by file and after that we are just migrating all our changes to the uh, uh, backend app so all the changes are in sync to the app itself so I think yeah this is uh, it for the steps and uh, let's uh, minimize this and see what we get so for running the server let's just type in python3 manage dot pi run server so uh, everything is pretty much clean and the server is working fine let's uh, open this port this is our main home page and let's navigate to the admin and I'm already logged in so you don't need if you're logged in so we have registered our product app uh, within the admin panel so let's open this and I've already added few uh, products so just uh, navigating to the add product uh, part and over here you can see we have a name description price stock is active that is like a checkbox a choose file and a category so uh, this is uh, this is a schema of the product uh, app and the categories is something which we are uh, using it within the uh, product app so if you have let's uh, let's take a look into this let's navigate to the product part and the models so if if you have some if you uh, have look at this line we are using a foreign key basically the category and uh, separating the products within the category so we have a uh, assume it one product which is categorized within the summer collection or winter collection so we are using this category as a foreign key for our uh, uh, products model so this is uh, that and this is the image uh, part so yeah this is uh, pretty much it let's uh, uh, move to the admin panel for the products app and uh, 
this uh, pretty much looks good let's add a product uh, watch test description price 120 stock 12 let's select an image and select a category so which which category you want to add this watch uh, product in so i want to add it within my uh, watch collection new save and we have our uh, three products as for now now i think we should log out and let's open a api texting tool which is postman so i've already opened a, a tab uh, with a get request and this is my port make sure your server is running in the back end and uh, this is the route we are hitting so if you might uh, if you are familiar with the uh, last video we were basically doing for the category something like this category so we uh, got all the list of categories which we have created the fall the watch collection and the winter collection similarly exactly the same we are doing it for the products app so let's uh, hit the products route and uh, this is what we get so uh, an area of objects uh, with this all wind uh, shirt shirt uh, t-shirt summer whatever and this is a watch which we recently have added so over here the category is uh, a foreign key so all products will be having a category section within that to identify that which product belongs to which uh, category and this is the path of that image <coughs> uh, so yeah I think uh, this is pretty much it and let's I think remove it and let's check whether our uh, code basic code operation is uh, working as intended so let's log in again let's add uh, okay good let's add another product for now uh, let's see it as caps demo price 23 stock 34 choose whatever all collection save and let's uh, rehit the api so i think uh, we have added this uh, is active is false it is basically a boolean and uh, we have uh, received everything which we have given in the admin panel right so yeah it is working we have added one now let's delete, delete this uh, I think I should be deleting watches as well. Delete the selected products. Go. I'm sure. So now we have two products. So all the basic code operations you get within the admin panel itself. You don't have to write any separate API for that. This is the beauty of Django. Now let's uh, hit the API route again for the products app and we ha here have our two products which is a caps and summer t-shirt I think that is pretty much clear now let's update I think let's update the caps to caps and hats and uh, 233 save let's refresh this or reload this I think it is it has updated as you can see and uh, the delete the update and add addition parts work uh, working is working pretty much pretty much good right so yeah I think uh, that's it uh, for this video guys uh, if you have any questions queries or concerns regarding uh, this part you can definitely hit me down in the comment section below and uh, I'll try to solve as many as queries as I can basically so 
here are here is our api endpoint for the products app similarly we similarly we'll be creating um, products uh, api sorry similarly we'll be creating more api routing part for the rest of the app for the users and uh, uh, owners and etc so um, yeah, this uh, this is it for this video guys and uh, yeah thanks for watching